da, da, da. So I'm going to show you a variety of different ways that we can span across the opening. So uh, what we have here is a precast concrete block lintel that's going to carry the block over the opening. Okay, this is a U block filled with grout, a couple of horizontal bars. It's an excellent, excellent mechanism for spanning block across the opening. Is the only way to span block across the opening? No, there are a few other ways which we'll go into, but this is probably the smartest way to take block across an opening other than an arch. If you want to build an arch, that's great. We love you for that. Um, but practically speaking, this is the best way because it's the cheapest way. Um, <clears throat> now here we have the face brick. This is called a loose lintel because its means of support is just going to be bearing on both sides on the brick. Okay, so it bears on the left and it's going to bear on the right on the right hand jam. Um, oh, here we see the flashing and the end down. This is the part of the flashing that returns vertically about two inches, one inch minimum, but two inches is even better. Uh, what the end dam does is it prevents water that gets in, into the wall and the flashing collects the moisture and it prevents the moisture from traveling underneath the end of the flashing. And then we have the rest of the components. The mineral wool insulation here is one method you have of preventing a flame spread through the window uh, and having uh, your flames become in contact with the plastic insulation. If NFPA 285 is a concern, this is one um, indication of a way that you could address that with a uh, thermofiber insulation. Or instead of a loose lintel, we have a fixed lintel. And you can see the lintel is anchored to the backing and it can be uh, installed with shims to bring it out to the proper um, distance front to back. And the other elements are similar.